Okay, I'm going to start by um, taking out the chassis and I'll, you know, slide the chassis out of the front man, um, remove the front panel and, and get it all ready to uh, move the chassis over. So give me a minute and I will um, start taking these screws out. For, for this, it's really easy. I've just got these four screws on the top of the uh, front man chassis and then on the sides, I've got these little screws and that will release the little uh, speaker baffle that I can uh, pull down and change out my speaker. Now, one of the challenges will be, if you look at the, at the champ, these, these screw holes will not line up, right? So uh, obviously the, the chassis are different sizes. So what I will have happen is once I, once I do move the champ chassis over, I'll have the little chassis straps over here and there'll either be four holes here, or I might just, I don't know, maybe I'll just leave the screws in, just because it might look better than having holes there, but then I'll also have the chassis st straps for the uh, champ right in here. And I'll tell you right now, the biggest challenge, at least for me, I'm not a, I'm not a real handyman type guy, the biggest challenge for me is going to be making sure I line up my holes uh, properly to uh, screw in the champ chassis when I move it over. That's that's the only thing I'm really worried about. But anyways, give me a minute. I'll uh, pull this chassis out and uh, get the front man ready, and then we'll start uh, taking apart the champ. Okay, so that was really easy. Just took the four screws out. I was just going to show you the... Here's the uh, front man chassis. Uh, little solid state guy. Not a bad little amp, really. Uh, the reverb's right here inside the chassis. Reverb's not working on this, so um, which I, I didn't care. I just bought it for the for the enclosure. I'll probably see if I can sell this for ten or fifteen bucks. You know, it might come in handy for someone. I don't know, uh, but not not a bad little amp. But that's the guts of the uh, of the front man. Uh, next step is to just take the front the speaker baffle off. Okay, so um, I've taken the screws out of this little speaker baffle, and then it's just a matter, I'm doing this one-handed here, it's a matter of pulling it out. There's some cobwebs, and uh, this, is a, this is a nice little, um, nice little enclosure. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Now, one of the things that I'm going to have to do, uh, I've just realized, and it's, you know, it's, it's got the foil up there to help with shielding all kinds of stuff one of the things i'm going to have to do is because i'd like to to remove the little back sorry my camera's moving all over here um i'd like to remove this back upper top back panel either remove this or you know what i'll probably just buy one because then i'll be able to sell this keep this complete, or, or if I want to sell it, I'll have all the parts. But I want to get this piece right here, the back top, rear top panel, that I could put right on the back of this enclosure as well. And in order for me to do that, I'll have to put some little, whatever you call these guys, you know, the little, little chunks of wood that I can put right here that I can nail that panel to. Another thing, this is a little deeper uh, than a champ. It's probably... I don't know, inch and a half, two inches deeper, which is just means that the champ chassis will set back a little further, you know, than it would in the regular chassis. Not a biggie. In fact, it, it, it'll be kind of nice having a slightly bigger uh, enclosure sound-wise, plus the 10-inch speaker, obviously. So that's what it looks like. Uh, next, I'll move on to taking the champ apart and having it ready to, to slide in. Okay, now I'm going to take off the little back panel here and uh, remove the chassis from the champ. Okay, so I've successfully removed the chassis from the champ. Uh, one thing to remember guys, make sure you, <laughs> you unscrew the little thing that holds the cord. There's a little, uh, a little, uh, loop here that's screwed into the side of the cabinet. I was trying to pull this chassis out and, and it wouldn't come out until I go, duh, uh, there was a the little thing holding the, the uh, power cord in there. So once I took that out, it was fine. 
Um, here's my enclosure. I, I had the little Jensen mod, which is a great little speaker. And so I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might try and sell this whole thing, make a, I don't know. I don't know what you could sell a, a 1975 Champ chassis for. It's in, it's in good shape. I'll probably hang on to it in case I want to put it all back together. Here is the chassis. And any of you Uncle Doug fans, if you don't watch Uncle Doug, you need to subscribe to his channel if you're into amps. He actually fixes amps. I am not smart enough to fix amps. Uh, but I have the handy uh, chassis holder, uh, chassis platform that he uses. Um, this keeps my tubes and transformers up off the ground. Uh, but there it is. Actually, pretty clean little chassis. The guts look nice inside. Not really even all that dusty. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. Everyone should own a Champ or a Vibro Champ. Um, but anyways, next step then is to put this and the speaker in the new chassis. And again, my, my number one concern is lining up my screw holes. Um, so that'll, that'll, that's my only concern. And as long as I do that right, uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, prepping the for the new speaker. Uh, by the way, I, I don't know if I even mentioned this. The reason I'm replacing this, first of all, it's probably not a great speaker, uh, but uh, you know, for a for a five watt amp, this speaker would probably be fine. The problem is, this is an eight ohm speaker, and with the Champ, you need a four ohm. Technically, it's a three point two ohm, but but the common replacement speaker is a four ohm for a Champ. So, I went with the WGS. Uh, so I'm going to be putting a WGS Veteran 10-inch speaker. They have really good reviews, and, and they're they're pretty good price. One tip, by the way, guys, if you're going to buy WGS stuff, get it off Amazon because the shipping is free. Uh, if you order it directly from WGS, you're going to pay uh, 18 to 20 bucks to ship it. So uh, just a tip. Get it off Amazon. You won't have to pay the shipping. But anyways, I will, I've unscrewed this. Um, so this is all ready to go. Get off of there. This is my cat, Carl. Um, Carl's a pain. Uh, so we're just ready to stick the new speaker in there. Okay, guys, so I'm about to drill my holes, and here's what I did. Don't laugh for all you expert craftsmen. But what I did, I put some tape on here, uh, and then I'll drill through the tape and peel, peel the tape up when I'm done. I didn't want to mark all over the... But I basically measured. Now, one thing that's interesting is on the original, boy, it's not exact. I mean, it's it's uh, one and a quarter inches. The screw holes are a one and a quarter inch from the side uh, here, one and a quarter inch. And then on this side, it's just one and an eighth inch. So there's an eighth inch off. Um, so I, I marked it accordingly on my tape here. And the nice thing with the little chassis straps, you know, that's that's kind of a guide. Um, so once, you know, once I get one spot marked, you know, the other one's fairly easy to mark as long as I've measured it out, you know, the right distance from the side. Uh, but the the bolts are long enough, and, and even I noticed as I pulled the chassis out from the champ that they weren't completely straight through. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, there's a little wiggle room, so it, it doesn't have to be as exact as I was thinking it, it, it would have had to be, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it works once I put the chassis in. But my next step is I'm going to just drill, uh, drill my holes through here and slide the chassis over and, and put it in there, see how it looks. Okay, holes are drilled. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I got the chassis in and it I have to say, for me, it went really well. Um, I was having a, a, a little tough time lining up the holes. I could get two of them in. So all I did was I went in and drilled the holes out a little bigger, uh, and then I was able to get them in just fine. And the nice thing is the, the little chassis straps cover up the extra big holes. One thing I noticed is in the original cabinet, those holes were kind of counter, the screws were countersunk, and they weren't here, so these, Kind of stick up a little. I could screw them in a little tighter, but actually, it it 
it went in really good. And you'll notice on the back, flip this around. And I gotta tell you, man, it's nice having a small light chassis to work with. But you see, it sits back a little further because uh, the the uh, cabinet's about an inch, inch and a half deeper. Um, but like I said, when I get the uh, back panel, upper back panel for a, from a, for a champ enclosure, I'll just stick it right up here, or maybe not. I don't know. It's not that big a deal. Uh, I still have to screw this little thing down to hold the cord in place, and then we're just ready to uh, stick the speaker in. So I'm getting pretty excited about this. Okay, and just like clockwork, UPS guy showed up right, <laughs> right as I got the chassis in, which you can't can't beat that. That's called uh, just in time just in time inventory. So we're gonna grab this guy out. This is a warehouse guitar speaker, WGS. This is the 20 watt veteran. And these get really good reviews. Um, so we're gonna take un unpackage this guy and stick it in. Okay, so again, this is the uh, warehouse guitar speaker 4 ohm 20 watt veteran and I would much rather put a 20 watt speaker in than a 50 watt or 75 watt you know if I could get lower I would but in a 10 inch I, I really haven't found anything lower than than like a 20 watt unless I want to spend a fortune but I am mounting it sideways um, the 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 tubes are in the way if I try and uh, mount it, you know, with the with the uh, connectors up on top. So I am turning it to the side, just like it was the previous speaker was in there. So I'll go ahead and screw this on, hook it up, and uh, we'll give it a try. So it's all put together. I did run into one little problem. Well, we'll see if it's a problem. This speaker, the way the... Uh, the way that the little frame is set up, it's a little different than the old one. It, it's not any thicker, but the where the, where those little cross members are, it touches right on that big cap. See the big capacitor there? It's touching it. Uh, it fits in okay, but it's it's actually touching it, which I would rather that weren't the case. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna hook up the speaker. Plug it in and see how she flies. So it's all put together. I plugged it in. I was worried at first. Uh, I'm still a little worried because uh, I plug it in and I turn it on and I and I thought it wasn't getting any power. Uh, actually, it is getting power. Uh, the jewel light's just not coming on. So I don't know if I knocked something out of whack or whatever. Uh, it's working okay. But at first I thought, oh crap, I thought I had uh, you know, disconnected the power cable. So it is working for, for whatever reason, the jewel light's not working now. So I'll have to figure that out. But, uh, I, this is a brand new speaker. Let's, uh, let's see what it sounds like. Okay. This is the maiden voyage. Uh, let's start a little quieter here. I'm, I'm at three right now. That's on my lead pickup. Again, brand new speaker. Already I can tell you it sounds like a bigger speaker. <laughs> what it sounds like once uh, the speaker breaks in. Here's my uh, rhythm pickup. Yeah, already I can tell a big difference. It's it's a 10 inch versus an 8 inch. I'm going to crank it up to about 6. Uh, I'm on my lead pickup.
let's try the uh, let's try the tremolo here. with the jewel light uh, I'm pretty happy I'll have to get in and figure out what that is but uh, it looks I think it looks great um, and I got a tin in it without uh, having to cut up my um, vintage cabinet so if you've got a champ chassis vibro champ chassis or music master bass amp chassis would slide right in here as well um, I, I've never really heard of you know, the, the appeal of the Music Master bass is it's got a 12. I, I have one sitting over there, in fact. Um, but you could, you could also, if you have a Music Master bass uh, amp with a crappy enclosure, you could slide one of those in as well. They're all the same size. Width-wise, it fits perfect, and it's kind of slick. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later.